It's Tim McKenna, children's author. Let's start the show! Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Tim, it's true, I'm him. Hello, hello, hello. I'm here, you're here. Can you hear me loud and clear? That's good, and so, let's go, let's go, let's go. I've come to read a book with you and maybe sing a song or two. But first, there's just one thing to do. We have to say hello. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm doing great. It's time to read another book. Let's go! Welcome to Wallenberg Community Garden in San Jose, California. People grow all kinds of beautiful flowers and vegetables here. We're in a garden, so what better book to read than in a garden. Let's do it. In a Garden, written by Tim McKenna. That's me. Illustrated by Amy Securo. This is a Paula Weissman book, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster books for young readers. In a garden, on a hill, sparrows chirp and crickets trill. In the earth, a single seed sits beside a millipede. Worms and termites dig and toil, moving through the garden soil. Then at last, a tiny shoot ever slowly forms a root, first a seedling, then a sprout, pushing, bursting, up and out. In a garden, day by day, newborn flowers find their way. Sunlight warms the morning air, dewdrops shimmer here and there, earwigs scuttle, beetles scurry, roly polies scoot and worry. Sleepy slugs and garden snails leave behind their silver trails. Frantic teams of busy ants scramble up the stems of plants. In a garden, week by week, little creatures hunt and squeak. All the while, a sprout is growing without anybody knowing. Buds emerge and leaves unfold, braving wind and heat and cold. Stretching, spreading, open wide, just the perfect place to hide. Underneath, it's safe and snug for a lonely ladybug. In a garden, showers fall, dainty drinks for one and all. Flower petals, bold and bright, blossom in the beaming light. Blooms of every shape and size call to bees and butterflies. Daisy, foxglove, tulip, plum, daffodil, chrysanthemum. Sips of nectar warm and sweet, pollen clings to heads and feet. Round and round they buzz and flit, only pause to rest a bit. In a garden, bugs aglow, flashing, flying to and fro. Lace wings, gnats, mosquitoes, spiders, dragonflies, and water striders live among the cattail reeds, lily pads, and water weeds. Keeping hid from hungry eyes, using colors to disguise, 
crafty bugs with clever tricks look like leaves or bark or sticks. In a garden full of green, many moments go unseen. Finding shelter in the shade, careful rows of eggs are laid as a cool and gentle breeze whispers through the tops of trees. Then a seed slips to the ground, sinking in without a sound. Time goes by and by, and then... Life returns to start again. What are these kids doing here? They've got something colorful in this wagon. They're doing something in the dirt. I wonder what they're up to. Always changing, never still, in a garden, on a hill. Oh, and look, they had colored rocks and they put them in the shape of a heart in their garden to make it beautiful. The end of In a Garden. In a garden on a hill Sparrows chirp and crickets trill In the earth a single seed Sits beside a millipede Worms and termites dig and toil Moving through the garden soil then at last a tiny shoot Ever slowly forms a root First a seedling, then a sprout Pushing, bursting up and down Always changing, ever still In a garden on a hill In a garden on a hill Welcome to the San Jose Rose Garden. We've read a garden book. Now we have to sing a garden song. This one was written by Dick Two-Ton Baker. It's an oldie but a goodie, and this is how it goes. Of all the saddest words that I have ever heard, the saddest is the story that was told me by a bird. He had spent about an hour chatting with a flower. Here's the tale the flower told. Oh, I'm a lonely whittle petunia in an onion patch, an onion patch, an onion patch. I'm a lonely little petunia in an onion patch, and all I do is cry all day. Boo hoo, boo hoo. The air so strong it takes my breath away, quite away. I'm a lonely whittle petunia in an onion patch. Oh, won't you come and play with me? Boo hoo, boo hoo. The air so strong it takes my breath away, quite away. I'm a lonely whittle petunia in an onion patch, an onion patch, an onion patch. I'm a lonely little petunia in an onion patch, and all I do is cry all day.
Amy illustrated all the bugs and plants and animals and people and buildings so wonderfully for In a Garden. And the garden in the book is actually based on real community gardens that she visited in Brooklyn, New York. And like the kids who painted rocks and made a heart shape in their garden, my daughter painted a rock 10 years ago and we still have it. You wanna paint a rock? It's totally easy. All you need are paints, a brush, and a rock. Let's do it. Hey, that was fun. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more about public gardens, you can visit publicgardens.org. And if you're looking for picture books like In a Garden about bugs and gardens, there's lots more out there that you can find through any indie bookstore through bookshop.org. But for now, we've come to the end of the show. And you know what that means. It's time to say farewell. It's time to say so long Now go and set the table